how to set up your sight right. It shouldn't take long, so I'll, uh, I'll try and do it as quick as I can. Place the sight right board on the floor underneath your dartboard with a leading stepped edge away from, away from the wall. Take one of your darts and you'll find that the sight right comes with a plumb line. Screw the end into one end so it hangs like this. At the other end, there's a loop for you to put the dart through. Center the dart with the loop into the dead center of the bullseye. Run, run the plumb line slowly down to the floor and center the middle of the white line with the point of the dart. Hi, we're here now to do an actual sight right test and to show you how you can carry it out at home for yourself when you've got your sight right. Steve, what would you like me to do? Okay, so to do the sight right test, I'm going to need you to stand at the dartboard in your normal technique, your normal stance, your normal approach. Nothing changed at all? Nothing changed at this stage. And what would you like me to throw? Um, straight down the centre line, treble to 80. Okay, okay, all right. Brilliant, let's do that one. Okay, so for the benefits of this first sighting test, I've, I've covered the side right up so that when Simon takes his normal stance at the board, he will actually be his normal self. So, Simon is now going to take his normal position at the hockey. And in throwing these darts, what we will look at is his actual position on the hockey when he finishes. What we can see is that Simon takes the position at the hockey well to the left. And what sight right will show us is that Simon is actually looking across the centre line of the dartboard from left to right. So this is Simon's view from his position at the hockey. And what I'm going to do is, as we home in on the sight right, I'm going to show you what Simon is actually seeing, looking at what he believed to have been the centre line of the dartboard. As we uncover the sight right and zoom into the sight right, you can see that Simon standing off to the left of the hockey actually gives him a view looking across the centre line of the dartboard. So, with a visual alignment already set up towards the one, under pressure, Simon's throw is liable to lead him to the one rather than treble 20 or 20.